As you probably know, last Friday was Leap Day. The 29th of February comes only once every four years. Yeah, but what you probably didn't know is that every once in a while there's a Leap Second. Rick Lukens explains in this classic edition of Lukens at Large. So many things to do, so little time. We hear that a lot. But what many of these people don't realize is that last week they actually picked up an extra second. This is real? Extra yeah. second, huh? It's called a leap second, and clocks around the world were set back one tick. How can they do that? <laughs> <laughs> they can do anything they want. Who's they? They are scientists trying to keep the world clocks in sync with the Earth's rotation. I didn't notice. If you didn't notice, you have plenty of company. None of the people we talked with knew about it. Excuse me, have you got a second to talk to us? No. Actually, you do. She does. The morning after the leap second, the buses may have been slightly ahead of schedule. Maybe some commuters made that traffic light they normally just miss. But nobody noticed. It was business as usual. See, if she knew she had that extra second, she wouldn't be running quite so fast. If they just do a better job of getting the word out, some of us could make good use of that time. If I told you you could have an extra second to do whatever you wanted to do, what would you do with it? Time's up. Wouldn't give you much time to do it in. <laughs> I sleep a second longer, that's it. <laughs> a couple of other good things about this leap second. Our clock tower, for instance, is now only off by a minute 59 seconds instead of two minutes. And my producer, who's a tight wad with time, says I can have a whole extra second for this story. And you know what? I'm going to take it. Rick Lukens, 1 Mississippi, KXLY 4 News.